Oh, can you hear us, Ryan? I can hear you, but there seems to be a bit of a lag in the internet. There does. There is a little bit of one, isn't there? Yeah. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Simple and Spooky here. And we're broadcasting on a Wednesday night. And this evening, myself and Viv, who's our very special guest for you, as you can see yourself, needs no introduction, Mr. Well, media extraordinaire and all round good egg, Mr. Ryan Griffiths. <laughs> there's there's one for you guys right. as well. How you doing? I'm doing not so bad yourself. Oh, very good, mate. Thank you. Very good indeed. What have you been up to? Anything? Um, to be honest, not an awful lot. Um, I moved house. I'm back in Scotland. Oh, um, back in Scotland. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, back in the Shetlands. Oh, lovely. Oh, is that anything to do with the bad connection? You think? It probably will be. Where I am is like very remote, so um, the signal is atrocious, to be fair. Really? A very beautiful but, place, though. Oh, it's beautiful. We did a, we did um, one about two years ago, didn't we, I think? We um, did, I was yeah. Up on holiday. Can, how is it looking your side? Do I look okay? Is it like... Yeah, yeah absolutely fine. No problem at all. Oh, banging. Cool. cool. Very good. Very good indeed. So are you, are you back there long term now? Are you back there permanently or... Yeah, that'll probably open up a little bit more as we go into the conversation. But yeah, um, it will be more long term for the immediate future, if that makes sense. Yeah, that does okay. make complete sense. And nobody knows what the future holds, do they? So yeah, so it makes complete sense. Ah, oh, hey, he's got his Rangers mug there. It's got to be done. <laughs> Some would say I was a mug for supporting them, like my father-in-law, <laughs> who's actually in the room with me as well at the minute. There you go, Adam the Ant. That's the real husband. <laughs> well, there's a slight <laughs> delay, so I see it like after, but hang on, I'm waiting for it to go up a little bit more and I can see it. Oh, I can't there see it. Go. Oh, there we are. There we are. I see it. I just want quick yeah, if, we've got any, if we've got anybody in the chat, if you would care to uh, <laughs> put a comment in the uh, in the chat box. That'd be great if you could, please. Then we'll know that. Well, we're yeah, I'll answer broadcasting. pretty much any questions. Good evening, Hi, Sarah. Sarah. Good evening. Hey, Sarah. Cliff. And Cliff is in the house. Hi, yeah, Cliff. Hope you're doing well. Apologies if I look absolutely knackered, uh, you guys, and of course those watching. But um, recently, I've done my right. back in, so we're absolutely knackered. Oh no! Oh, you look all right, mate. You look all right. You, you look, look all right. right. Just, Lord, just that... forty years old oh, now. Not... I know, you had a big one, didn't you? Yeah, well, it was like, as I say, my father-in-law just keeps ripping the mickey out of me because uh, he says, I'm now, what's it you say, now I'm officially old or something, you know. <laughs> Life so begins all... at 40, tell him. Life begins yeah, at 40. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Maybe, uh, so how have you guys been, what you've been doing? What uh, haven't we been doing? Oh, yeah. my God. Is that a, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't ask that one, Viv. Oh, Dan. Dan's been Dan's been very naughty, you know. Have oh, I that doesn't surprise me. me. I don't know why I've been naughty. Well, we went to my place and saw something that was a bit frightening, and he kept saying, "No, it was seriously right." On, on it, this was on another level, and he's sitting there. Yeah, I saw that. Come closer. Come closer. Can you touch me? And like Dan, we need to leave now. And <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. There was one place I was at, everyone will know it, it's um, the Wickham Caves, the, the Hellfire Caves. Yes, yes. the Hellfire Caves. Um, and I was down down in the bottom of it with my wife, we were just having a little nosy at it, and uh, I just got this overwhelming feeling that the same old thing, hi Lorna, um, the same old oh, thing wanna... where it feels like something's coming behind you. Um, yeah. I got that feeling, and the next thing I, I, just, I felt like I needed to get out of there pretty quick, so I grabbed a wrist. Um, and just dragged her out like an empty tracksuit. You know, I've never moved so quick in my life. You was know, that was that on an investigation, or was that just like a? No, just... mate. It was one of those. We were, we lived quite local because I used to work in uh, um, the Royal Standard of England uh, pub that's just around the corner. Oh, did that's you? I didn't know corner, that. But... Yeah, yeah. I used to work there, the same place that Ricky Gervais did his. Um, was it? What was the film? The TV series called? Oh, he had a few, didn't he? he had extras. No, no, he the one that he did with his life. wife died life, recently. Was it, was it life afterlife. after death or something? Afterlife. Afterlife. Something like that, yeah. They filmed, um, what do you call it there as well, didn't they? They filmed uh, Hot Fuzz. 
Yes, that's correct. Yes, absolutely. Oh, that was yeah, a, the, the famous Winchester. That's it. The Winchester. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Very that's nice. It. Actually. But it was quality, and of course the Osborns are there, and they're only they live quite locally as well. So you would see them come in. Liam Gallagher was another one that I seen. Um, but yeah, we just one day, one random day, we thought we'd have a day out. We drove past, and Sally said, "That's my wife." She said, um, "You know, we go up and check out the caves," and we went there. And it, I think single-handedly had to be the scariest spur of the moment event that I've ever experienced. <coughs> Yeah. What was it? What did you, did you pick up on what it was at all, or was it? No, well, if I, the only thing that I sort of picked up on at the time, because it gave me a fright now, contrary to belief, mediums are just like any other person. Why why shouldn't we get scared if something jumps out and gives us a fright? And that's what happened. But the only thing that I could pick up on was, like Lorna says there, the change in the atmosphere. I noticed that change quite heavily, and it went very dense. Um. And then I was aware of a male figure. Who this male figure is, I couldn't tell you. I didn't spend long enough to um, ask my guides or whatever the case may be. It just sort of overwhelmed me, and I was out there quick. Yeah, yeah, I don't blame you. I think the thing with that place as well, that even the, the men that were in there, they're all sinister figures in their own right, weren't they? They're yeah, bit, yeah, yeah, definitely. A bit dodgy, oh, you know? I don't doubt but, that. I mean, I actually didn't know a lot of the history at the time. Um, my wife obviously living locally she knew all about it so she used to tell me stories about how she used to go there and smoke the old wacky backy back in the day with all her mates <laughs> up on the graveyard you know and <laughs> some, mate as very, you guys know me well enough that I don't see the point in Bertie bullshitting to everybody you are who you are yeah. so yeah, if you do exactly. these things in your life you know half the people on, on in the public eye of course they've taken drugs of of course, they've had wild parties. Of course, they've whatever, and I, I've been one of them. And what? Yeah. So, she was. She used to tell me stories about how um, she would sit up there in, in like circles with her friends, and she used to see like um, the like the satanic cults coming up the hill with their torches and their hoods. And yeah. It was crazy, crazy place. So check it out, people. High Wycombe Caves. It's probably still pretty much the same as that. I would imagine if you get the right mm. evenings. I well, that was only cultists up there. Do you find that when you get um, this feeling of you need to go and you need to go now, even mm -hmm. if you turn to guides, I mean, that night with, with Dan that I had, I turned to my guides and they were nowhere to be seen. Mm -hmm. Literally, they'd like, <coughs> I'm not entertaining I think... this. I don't want you to. I'm leaving. You should do. You should do too. So I'm gone. Yeah, I think my, and it's only an opinion. I don't know this is fact or anything. It's just what I, what I feel is right is in those moments i feel that the personal fear overtakes now we talk over, about yeah we, we obviously know that as mediums i know you're a well-established medium yourself um, but the thing is is a uh, spirit are, they always say they're never away from us then they never leave us they're always by our sides and they are but our, <laughs> not, our personal not in the way fear, we want them though isn't it sometimes no, they just it. But then you should know more than most. It's they'll never make it how we want. It's all about no. the experience. If you do wrong or you trip up or you make a mistake or you do something that's out of line, then you need to do those things for a reason. You need to learn and you need to move forward from that. But uh, yeah, yeah it's, there. it does. It does. It does give you the willies or the eebie-jeebies, doesn't it? And you have to get out quick. Yeah, and it's like, but I've got I, no control. I, I just don't like it. I've got to go. It's when they say they say, "How can you do that? You're a medium, but you know you're you're only human." Yeah, of course, yeah. exactly, exactly. Well, in Dan's case, there were four of them, and he's telling them all to come closer. It's like, even if we did have a standoff with whatever it was, I'm one person, and yep. you're one person. You're gonna take yep. on two, Dan, and me take on two. I don't think so. Let's go. Uh, that's <laughs> like, it. I mean. No, I'm a it, fatalist. I thought by the time we'd seen them, we were stuffed anyway. So there's no point in running. <laughs> no, that's a fair point. Plus, what's the point of running when time is no object and you can just move from one place to another? Exactly. Anyway? exactly. And it was pretty much like that. It was like that's it. And if they want to frighten you, they're going to do that. Oh, it was like that. It was a very, it was the weirdest experience by any stretch. It was just odd. But, oh, but you're uh, a bit in the field anyway. 
yeah, but we've been in the field for such a long time. And we think, oh, yeah, like you, you shouldn't be scared of the dead. It's the living you want to be scared of. Yeah. And that night, and it's taken me, what, 45 years to get to that point? I take that back because I don't know what this was. And it certainly wasn't a living human being at one point. No. It, no. And I thought, oh, oh, my it's, now stop. It's, that's it's why a, I get so frustrated when I see people going on and dabbling with the, the dark side or, or messing about with stuff that you shouldn't mess about with. Now, mm. that's all fun and games. And to, there's that old saying that goes, that it's all fun and games games until someone farts and shoots a cat. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Don't, don't stick your fingers into the fire. You're going to get burnt. It's exactly. common sense. Yeah, so, absolutely. like you just said there, there's going to be times where no matter how much you're you're moving forward in your development, you're only still learning. You always learn something new every day. Yeah. I could be the toughest guy in the world, but I can't go out I could go out there and beat up Muhammad Ali, but I can't go and beat up sixteen teenagers at the same time. <laughs> no. It's no, it's exactly yeah. it. That's, that's the thing. A bit of common sense. It concerns me when you see a lot of um you see a lot of people people that restart well say they've been doing it for a long time and they're buggering about with the occult and side oh, yeah. of it. And they're kind of trying to invoke things and stuff like that. And you think to yourself, you're going to end up in that crap. You're going to end up on the, yeah, bad the, thing end is, the rough is, end of the stick. It's all very well again. And I don't want to start being negative, but it's all very well again talking about other teams and individuals and stuff and the paranormal that say, oh, I've been around 20 to 25 years. It's utter bollocks because I've been about for 20 to 25 years and I ain't seen half of them. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. what I would I would always say that if you're a member of the public, you're going with a team and you want to go on an event and even if it's a somewhere small or large, whatever, you know, from prisons to houses, always do your research. Look into the team. Do they know what they're talking about? Does the medium know what he's talking about? Do a bit of research. Don't just go with the flashiest looking company out there because they don't always know what they're fucking talking about. Excuse no, me. Yeah, it's true. No, you're right. That's it's absolutely true. true. That's absolutely true. So what about you? Have you been doing any investigating recently then? Um, actually, to be honest, for about maybe about a, a year, I've done absolutely nothing. Um, Is that I've done a few. Back? Well, no, no, the back was just a recent thing. But um, a lot of the time when I was coming to the end of the, the last team that I was involved in, um, they could be asked doing anything anyway. So it was one of them where, you know, we were always for about two to three years. We were only doing little bits here, little bits there, some TV work, some of this, whatever. But a lot of it has been massive gaps. Um, you should I think have said it, we would have taken you out with us. Yeah, that's why um, you would have you would have seen at one point where um, I was like out doing a charity event or I was doing whatever. All of, and that's why I was doing that because. If somebody wants to sit in their arse and not get involved but have the biggest ego in the country and think that they know yeah. everything that there is to know about the paranormal, when in actual fact it's just a mask and they know yeah. fuck all. Yeah. So I wasn't prepared to sit on my backside and, and just ride the wave of an ego. I went out there and actually made an effort and travelled the country okay. and helped people out. I don't yeah. want pats on the back. It was just lovely to do that. It was good to get yeah. back to my roots and get involved in those teams and locations and such like. Yeah. That's what we were talking about ourselves recently, wasn't it, Viv? Uh, that you go out and do an investigation, you get to the point where you think to yourself, I, I, I don't know why I bother, because nobody seems to put the effort in. Nobody seems to yeah. go that extra bit, that extra mile, you know. And but, nobody wants to contribute. Do you know there was a team, and I urge you to look them up. Um, I don't say you need to, to like them or follow them. That's entirely up to you. Um, but I would recommend it, because... It's rare these days to see teams come through and actually do it for the right purposes or enjoy yeah. doing it for the right purposes. Yeah. Instead of thinking they can make like a fast buck or whatever the case may be, because trust me, folks, that won't happen. Mm. Um, but it's a team called New Dawn mm. Paranormal. Um, they're sort of based in the new in the northeast. Um, they're they're very and they won't mind me saying it. They're very amateurish. You know, they, they, they've just come out, but I mean that with respect because they've yeah. not had that experience yet. Um, but wow, they're just there to actually enjoy it and, and to really love what they do, you know, and, and that's yeah. brilliant to see. Um, they had me recently at 30 East Drive as a special guest, and wow, they, they treated me really, really well. 
Yeah, so very few you come out with the, the difference is though, if you come out with us, you ju you're just the same as us, you know. It's just, <laughs> we scream and be. swear at you as like. <laughs> And by the way, if in the background you hear my dogs, it's I've got a basically I'll tell you this quick off the cuff story. So uh maybe six months ago, um we had two dogs and um well actually as you know I had three dogs, the collie that passed away last year, um with epilepsy. So we ended up obviously with two. And we discussed it and said we're having no more dogs, but of course one thing leads to another and you know how it works. Anyway, a friend of ours got this dog, it was a beagle, a lemon beagle. Um, and bless its heart, he'd been wrapped in barbed wire, big chunks out his ear. This dog was absolutely, I'll, I'll have to show you sometime, the dog was absolutely horrifically mistreated. Oh. And I never, I never, she, the lady who had him never really bonded with him, which is not through no fault of her own. And anyway, to cut a long story short, we took him, um, and this is him. He, he's got separation anxiety, so I've had to put him out of the room, so you might hear him going, Let oh. him in! Let him no, in. I can't. I can't. He's got <laughs> epilepsy, and I don't want him getting too excited and things. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. Sorry to go off topic there, but I just thought that's that's right. Right. Listen, well, we, we got some. We got some bits in the dog. chat, guys. Uh, going with Cliff. He what needs some mushrooms for a scientific project, mate. <laughs> About a hundred yards up the hill from me, you'll find some magic mushies, as many <laughs> as you can pick. <laughs> your address and I'll, I'll mail order them. Put, put them in the post to you. I'm trying to get that DMT out of it. Spirit will never let us down. Absolutely. I mean, the thing is, is a lot of people say, oh, where's God or where's spirit when the bad things happen? But you no, cannot. I know It's horrendous. I know. I understand that. It's never a good thing to go through all that. But sometimes you just need to. Mm. What's this? I agree. Oh, yeah, we will, Eric. We'll get beaten up, but we'll do it. <laughs> and, oh, you're Robert. I'm Ryan. <laughs> hey, Robert. Ooh, Kentucky. Hi, Roger. Hi, Roger. Roger from Kentucky. How's the chicken? Kentucky fried chicken. <laughs> cool. It's Colonel Sanders up there. Colonel Dan Sanders right there. Dan knows that. Dan knows. I was going to have that little beard down there, and I'll show you the size of it. I'm, I'm I've got a suspicion. I've got a suspicion Dan is a boneless bucket type of geezer. Oh, have a boneless. How did you know? I'm a boneless bucket type of geezer. <laughs> hey, Dal. Well, I'm saying hi to people. Can you tell me where I can find you? Because I can't find you anywhere. Um, on Viv's page on, on the group. Just, just uh, if you go look on, uh, just just go uh, on Facebook. Just look at Simply Spooky Network. Yeah, oh, she, that's she, the one. I forgot it. She's on it now. See, <laughs> Sally, for those that don't know, for, oh, bless her. Oh, for nearly Sally. like 20 years, Sally's always like kept me going in the background and she's always done my bookings and, and if she doesn't want me to do an appearance in something, then she'll obviously keep me right. Um, she's amazing, Sally. She's she always, says, she always likes to say that um, she picks the trousers. She just allows me to wear them or whatever way around it goes. I pick the trousers. You wear them. There you heard it first. Yeah, yeah. What's yours is mine. What's mine's my own. <laughs> I know that. I know that's mine. Ain't no messing. Oh, Happy's got a good home now. Yeah. Do you know, I urge people that if you can, I mean, obviously it's not for everybody, again, do your research, but any puppies or dogs or anything like that that's in the dog home, if you can put them up in your house, even as a foster, you can get paid for that as well, folks. Go and foster the dogs. Yeah. I would definitely do that. To. Trouble is, I would never let them go back. Well, my oh, sister's okay. just done it. She's a vet, and she um, fostered six puppies. I thought you are mental, and every single one of them has gone to the police. You know, she's she's fostered them for the police. Oh, oh that's good. That is good. Yeah, yeah. What's it? We do create ourselves. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Life is what you make it. Is the old saying used to be? It is. Scottish I mean, magic mushrooms. mushrooms. <laughs> really? I reckon the guy, the guy that invented the Scotsman, had to have been on mushrooms that day because there's nothing, <laughs> fr there's nothing more frightening than a half ginger man running over a hill in a skirt, <laughs> clinging onto an octopus. I'm so glad you said skirt. <laughs> octopus. There you go. <laughs> oh, but the, apparently, the bagpipes weren't invented in Scotland. 
I would not be surprised. We tend to <laughs> like to steal everybody's good bits. They, they, they were Egyptian, weren't they? I, I couldn't wish. tell you. I wish I was intelligent enough to know. I think they were in Ireland. I only know because somebody told me. <laughs> it's not that I've been reading books. I know because they've just mentioned it. Someone once read a book to me. That's how I know. <laughs> she oh, takes no... Absolutely. Sally, bless her. Absolutely. That's her. Don't mess with Sally either, honestly. Oh, I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Hey, Bobby. Hello, Bobby in Florida. Hope you're Hi, well Bobby. and safe and over COVID. He's had COVID, poor Bobby. Yeah, my my uh, my little one downstairs has had this flu thing, but she's kind of got it good, and I'm not being, um, what's the word, insensitive, but just a couple of weeks ago, she was ill, had a couple of days off school. Oh, now she's on a week because... She's got a flu or something like that. And I remember back in the day, you guys will know you're a similar generation, but um, you didn't get to stay home, you know. Nope. So. Back nope, in school, nope. spread it, spreading the love and the germs. That's it. A cue. <laughs> and the nits. <laughs> you got that COVID, please. I remember breaking the arms, a kid in my leg, and I thought, that's handy, I'll be off school now. No. No. So, I got, got wheeled in. That's it. And we, there's that old one where the kids used to go out and get their fingers dirty and then stick it in their mouse or eat worms or whatever. That's, that might yeah. Be. That's, yeah, you know yeah what I mean? Not now. Not now. Not I ate any worms. Oh, so, yeah. I want, uh, Viv said... What was you've it? Got, Viv said... Viv, no, Viv said I'll blame her. Viv said that you've got something you want to announce. Yes. First yes. of all, I will say, you've been doing this for many years now, haven't you? I have. So I think indeed. it's been it's your whole life, isn't it, really? Yeah. It has. Um, ever since early childhood um, paranormal experiences, which I had an awful lot of them, as I spoke in the past about, um, I think my father in law's just farted, you know. Oh, that, that, is, <laughs> you, that is evil. That is evil. Uh, are you choking on it? Are you choking on it? <laughs> I'm choking on it. You can chew it. I can chew on that. <laughs> <laughs> He's blaming it on a bad fridge now. Nearly lost, but not quite. There we go. Where was I? So, um, yes, the announcement. No, wait a minute. There we go. That's good, isn't it? You look beautiful. <laughs> um, yeah, so the announcement is. The, um, I'll get the boring bit out of the way that sounds egotistical, but it's not meant like that. Um, because if I'm going to do it right, I want to do it. I like the official sound of it. So what I'm going to say first is, for the past 20, 25 years, I've been involved in the paranormal. Um, through one way or another, whether that was just going as a, as a member of the public on an event or whatever, you know, um, I'm involved in an awful lot of teams over the years. Mm -hmm. um, from ranging from white noise paranormal a long, long time ago to Spirit Finders UK to the Hauntons, um, working with Haunted Live lads, yourselves, um, Sean Cadman. Oh, lots of there's been people all over the place that I've worked with um, in charity events. I've been interviewed all over the world, done stuff on TV all over the world, um, and I've got three shows currently on Discovery Channel, so I've done a lot of things. Um, and I made a lot of celebrity friends along with a lot of friends in everyday life from all walks of life yeah. and made lots of memories. So I think people by this point will probably know where this is going. Uh, I've had enough. Um, that is it. Uh, this will officially be my last ever public um, interview. Uh, oh. It's been it's been a bit of a roller coaster. I've seen a lot of famous big teams that were even bigger than all of us at one point, that have come and gone, that said that they were going to stay the time and never did. But I was right through there, along with other people, like Lee Roberts and um, yourselves. You've been here an awful long time. Uh, and many, many other people that um, are still going. But there's only a few originals that were around. Um, I worked with Lee when we did the, the very first um, Facebook Live ghost hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was, the, and these are just little statistics and goals that I've achieved throughout my work that I've done. Um, I was the first person in the world to do a uh, authentic night vision live um, ghost hunt at Jedburgh Castle Jail. 
Um, I was famously interviewed with Derek Akora on his um, his show that he did. I helped Derek when he was in Big Brother Big Brother House. Um, I ran his page uh, and did all his monetization and different things. Um, and a lot of these teams that have like you know the ones that do like YouTube and Facebook and have all these little videos that they put up with intros. Well, You've been doing I've stuff helped... recently, Mickey Dork, haven't you? Yes, yes. Mickey, yeah. I was going to actually touch on Mickey in just a wee second. Um, <laughs> but these intros, like you see on different teams, it'd be a very su big surprise if I hadn't done them because I've done a lot for a lot of teams that they will not give me any credit for, but that's fine. Um, and, yeah, I've had a blast. Um, but I'm going to speak openly again that my mental health has been... I've not been a very well individual at all over the past year. Um Probably about well, Sally, about three months ago. Um, I didn't want, I didn't go to try and kill myself or anything like that, but I felt that I was at that point, you know, I was mm -hmm. so low that even Sally couldn't get me to eat. You know, um, I, I, there was nothing really that that sparked it. I think it was just at a point where, um, I don't know, just uh, you can only be sort of strong, so much, yeah, um, it, it yeah. kind of just. It's, you try to bottle things up, you try to be strong for everybody else, and it, you just get to that point at some point where you just have to say, well, yeah, that's all very well, I can do this, that, and the next for you, but I'm really not well here, and I yeah. can't keep, you know. Um, however, it's not all doom and gloom, because I just took some time out. I didn't announce it, because I didn't feel I had to, because no. I'm sure that um, the likes of members of the public, you guys, I don't have to say, so, taking some time out, got issues i don't need that sympathy because i need to focus on me so it's, yeah I, I don't need to to announce that to anybody um and i don't think it should be anything that people should be ashamed of whether you're male female trans or whatever denomination you wish to, to identify as um you can identify as a kettle for all i give a shit like you know what i mean but um <laughs> you know you, sometimes you have to just say do you know what whether you like it or whether you don't like it i'm taking some time for me yeah, yeah, you know, uh, and that's what I did. And do I feel better for it? Absolutely. Um, will it be the last you ever see me in the paranormal? Not a chance, because um, although I am retiring, I have got commitments. So I have. I'm not going to be disrespectful to anything that I'm working on already. Um, yeah. I've got a TV, big TV show in the new year. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I've actually just filmed for a local drama. You might know it's on the BBC. It's called um, Shetland. It's the uh, thing yes. with Jimmy Perez. So I've just yes. done a bit for that. So that'll be out on the next season. Um, and that, that was quite fun. It was just a bit of fun getting in front of the camera again and yeah. getting about it. Um, but also, I'm sick of the drama. I'm sick yes. of it. I've, I've just, I'm sick of all these arse-sniffing clowns that are yeah. in, the, oh, yeah. in the thing. Now, I won't mention certain names of recent teams that I've worked in, but I say that so that you know who I'm speaking about. I make no bones about that. Um, and they sure they've been around and supported me, and I will never, ever forget that. However, they have said and done some things that are unforgivable. So the way I the way I see it is I, I'm done. I don't need that. I really don't. No. Well, the thing is, though, uh, Ryan, you're, you're bigger and better than that as well anyway. Yeah. You, I mean, all, all the years that I've known of you, um, you, you know, I've, I've enjoyed seeing you investigate the spiritualism side of it, the readings and the things that you've done for other people have just been immense. And I see that you you don't ask for credit, but you don't get no credit. <laughs> I've, I've yeah. seen that as well. It's thankless work. Um, and you you have um, brought a lot of happiness and pleasure to a lot of people that have been able to get messages from loved ones in spirit. Mm. And you've asked nothing for it. Um, uh, and this is what, what gets me is they'll be nice one minute and yeah it's like yeah that's it and that'll happen whether it's the paranormal or work life or relationship whatever there's you're, you're always going to get people around you that are that get jealous because that's all it's yeah, been yeah, yeah. Um, exactly but then you get the narcissists as well uh, and yes. the narcissists that are around you and again it's it could be the subjects are relevant but in this subject it's obviously paranormal but 
there's certain individuals that deliberately held me back. Now you yeah. might say, well, you're in, you're in, you know, you're responsible for yourself. Yeah, I get that. But when you know no better, when you're looking yeah. to people for advice, when you're, you know, they they manipulate you so you can't run. Yes. You can't get there before them if you like, for yeah. a better expression. So I would say to you guy, anybody that's starting out now, I would say, by all means, be loyal to those around you. Absolutely, be loyal to them because you know you never know when you might need a friend. But at the same time, if an opportunity comes, take it. Don't sit. It's all. It's very heroic to sit there and say, "Oh, I've got to think of Steve, who who's a cameraman." You know, they don't really want Steve on this project. They want me. Then that's for a reason. You know, don't hold yourself back. If they're true friends, they will support you. They'll yeah, be around. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Another another group I want to give a heads up to is um, Haunted Scotland, or you know, um, they they were the guys that I worked with on the TV series Spook Scotland with Gail Porter. Yeah. Um, they're Ryan Ryan O'Neill and Greg and and the boys there. They're they're so professional. Yes, they're more of the what forgive the expression, but the higher end that will spend a lot more money yeah. on equipment and different things. But they are. Their, their ethics and 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 how they they work with the public again needs commendment you know um yeah. but that that leads me on to like you know these um festivals and different things that come up where they they get special guests and what a lot of shite that is <laughs> you know i mean it's uh, by all means of course like it's great to see groups of things where people can go and meet like-minded people absolutely i'm not dis disrespecting it but it is a face that fits, and I don't see yes. it from a from a from a je jealousy point of view that I never got asked to an event or whatever. I couldn't give a shite, you know. It just gives me another day to scratch my bollocks and play my Xbox. Does, you, does, you you say, I mean? does your favorite rocket invited? To be honest, <laughs> exactly. I'm still being it tomorrow. I couldn't care less. But what sometimes does annoy me from a personal point of view is it's the members of the public that are missing out on people who have general experience um, mm -hmm. and actually know what they're talking about. Yes, it's, it's like I've seen events go up that are getting big, billed as huge events, and I'm looking at it going, "Who are they? What's that? Yeah. Where do they come from?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, you know what? We, we 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 were talking about this ourselves, and we were talking about mm. you know, I mean, we've known each other for years now, and and the thing is that we were saying that if we go back to uh, one of the first paracons that was in the country, probably the first, wasn't it? I would think. Yeah. When we went along to that, and that's about eight or nine years ago now, isn't it? There was loads of people there in, in the industry, loads of people there in the community, and there was all talking about para unity, and there was all doing it, and all, all helping each other out. Invariably, we found out as time went on that para unity doesn't really exist. You just learn, no, you just no. learn that there are certain people that you can trust, you can get on with, and that you automatically gravitate and bond with those yep. people. Yeah, but the rest of them you don't. And we were saying we sat down, did myself, and we worked out how many of those people that we met that day are still in the industry, and this mm. a handful, literally from hundreds to a handful of people. Yeah, and, and this is it. And I, I, I and, and I got to a point. Uh, Viv will tell you maybe a year ago, a bit longer than that, maybe, where we were doing a, a, an event, and it got to the point where I, I thought I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. The essence of what it was for me, the enjoyment of it, had just yeah. gone. You know? Well, and, that... and, but, but eventually, I mean, I did grab, I, I sort of gravitated back towards it. And I'm really hoping that that's what you do. I yeah, really well... hope that you step out for a bit, <clears throat> consider your options, and then miss it and get back into it. Because we can't afford to lose any more good people. Yeah. But the thing is, is again, I couldn't care less about getting any praise because the thing is, it's, yeah, it does sound selfish, but you know when you build something, it's like building your house, you become proud of it, you become sentimental to it, yeah. you become defensive of it as well. Yeah. Um, and that that's where this confidence, people might look at this and think, what a cocky git, not at all, I'm just confident. Uh, and yeah, it's different, I, I've, different. I've worked hard, I've worked hard and been through some shit to get to where I am now, just like everybody else, I'm not saying I'm the worst off. No. Just like everybody else, so I'm going to take pride in say, and, and when I when I turn around and say, you know, I'm good. I, I, I'm well, experienced. I've been around a long time. I've done a lot of things, you know. And you deserve that, right? Rightfully so. You deserve that. And you, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. That's not an ego trip or anything else. That's just knowing 
you're confident in your own skin and what you've attempted, what you've done. Yeah, but, exactly. And the thing is, is you should take pride, no matter what it is. Because correct me if I'm wrong, when a kid, when you're kids, uh, if you've got kids, I don't know about yourself, Dan. Do you have kids? Yeah, yeah, I have. Yeah. So we all have kids. So when they go to the sports day, what do you do to them in the morning? What do you say to them? You say, come on, you can do this, you can get this done, yeah. don't worry about it. It's not about winning, it's about taking part. Yes. And that's all I've oh, yes. ever done. Yeah. All yeah. I've ever done is if an opportunity's turned up and somebody said, do you want to come and do this? I went, absolutely, I'll go and do that. And that yeah. leads me on to Mickey. Mickey York um, was the only, and, and that's no disrespect to you guys because you did not no. know what was going on in the background, but... Mickey was Mickey was the only person out of everyone I've ever met in the paranormal or ever worked with or any team that messaged me and said, "Are you all right, mate? Is you okay? Some something not sitting right with me, and I don't. I feel that I need to speak to you." Um, and he purposely took me out, sort of forced me out almost, and he he took me on events and and different things like that. So that's why you saw a lot of me working with Mickey. Yeah, that was at that point because oh, Mickey stepped really? up. Yeah, that, that was, was it. I mean, I I was, it. mate. I was um, I I left my job at the ambulance company and I went home and I just sort of kept myself to myself, <laughs> locked myself away, didn't really leave the house, um, because and then I broke my ankle. Do you remember I um for yes. the marathon? Yes, yes. So that yes. that was a catalyst that really affected me because that was for my mum, and I I I only got to mile twenty two and had to give up. So I only had a couple of more miles. And believe it or not, that was the one catalyst that sort of tipped me over the edge. Yeah. And, yeah, I can believe uh, it. I can believe yeah. that. But it is what it is. But will you come back down to my neck of the woods from time to time? Are you visiting at any point? Yes. Because if you um, do, I expect I'm going to text you my phone numbers and you better ring and we'll have to hook up and just... Oh, definitely. definitely. Get we Sally yeah, well, the range of day out. I mean, Sally's uh, disabilities have kind of gone from one extreme to another. Um, so she, she today she's having a really bad day, but other days she can she's fine. She's like a normal human being. She can move about and there's no problem. But she does go through a really bad day, so her mobility is not the best. But we can still yeah. go out and do things like so. Yeah, and maybe Good. do do some ghost hunting or spiritual events or whatever. He, he says he's retired. Not really. But I, don't I, don't <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't think it's never like say um, never. exactly. Never say never. Um, I'll never turn down any work that does come, but I'm not going to chase work. So as far as retirement's yes. concerned, I'm not going to book myself out until I'm doing like a hundred readings a week, or I'm not going to go and do six yeah, events yeah, yeah. at the same time. No, that's just no, that's stupid. Yeah. So yeah. right. So no, tell the truth. You're not retired. You're semi-retired. Semi-retired, yes. She hit the nail on the head. <laughs> or even a better way of looking at it, you've retired from working with dickheads. That would be me. <laughs> I'd use a, I'd use a far shorter word that began with a C and ended in a T. <laughs> or backwards to knock. Or backwards to knock. Yes. But to knock. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, you can't throw all what's life. People are just jealous. People just, when the tension's not on them, they just... Spit the dummies out. And that's yeah. that's, yeah. Well, that's we got what it is. But... We've got some things come up in the chat that I've got to share. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so I'm not sure how far we went down. Oh my god, let me just maybe just find them. Oh, right, here we go. You have to think about yourself yeah. and, and do what's best for you, says Nicola. Well, Absolutely. Nicola has actually um, followed myself since the way back in the Paranormal Channel. See, that's another thing that I forgot about. I set up the Paranormal Channel years ago, um, and everybody knows the famous Nick Groff. Um, yeah. And the on is it is it Dead Space or something that he has that's online or something like that? Yeah, something oh, like yes. that. It's, yeah. it's like a Paranormal Netflix kind of thing. So yeah, yeah, I yeah. set up the concept of the Paranormal Channel on Facebook, and it was exactly that. It was like a Paranormal Netflix. Um, and I was getting viewers. Like, I got 150,000 viewers in one wow. episode of Ghost Adventures Live. Um, anyway, Nick Groff contacted Lee Roberts. I spoke to Lee, and I spoke to 
um, Nick. And then I started having personal contact with Nick directly um, about the format of how I set all that up. Now, you're talking about that was way back when Facebook first started. Yeah. Um, and he took the concept of what was the Paranormal Channel and built that online platform that he's got now. Um, so that was a good prideful moment that I felt I enjoyed being involved in. Good. And she's followed good. me all the way from there. That's basically what I'm saying. <laughs> Well done, Nicola. My first team, even before Haunted Scotland. What's that for? I have no idea. What was that for, Eric? Has he put anything above? Oh, I've missed some. Oh, hang oh on. I'm sorry, Eric. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Every time I scroll up, I get another new comment. <laughs> so I'm yeah, fighting in the comments. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Let's go from the top. Let's go from here. Oh, we got that one. We did that one. Didn't know you. Oh, what was that? Oh, did you? Okay, fifty petitions over. Oh, yeah, that's good, Sarah. Excellent. Mine's on there too now. Yes. So, Scots is a fellow Scotsman on the panel. That's it. Okay, the new. Okay, the new Scott. Oh, I like. Oh, I've. That's I shocking. Really. <laughs> we just say to him. Okay, oh, the new Scott. Things changing the atmosphere. Yeah, we've had oh, that yeah. from Lorna. Going to got a lot to do in. Oh, okay. The UK. I need some oh, yeah, yeah. mushrooms. We did the mushrooms. Ah. No, that's yeah. it. I think we're caught up. Yeah. Oh, we did Kentucky, didn't we? Yeah. So, how at Robert? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bunch of fat Nicola. Yeah. Daryl Evans. Hi, yeah. Daryl. Oh, hi, Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> I've got Daryl. Shame when that happens. No, you're like, <sighs> I don't know what those questions were. No, I'm not. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm just useless at this because I was so engrossed in what uh, Ryan was it's saying. Like sorry, it's, it's, my to, it's like when you're trying to um, talk to Spirit on an EVP and the questions, the answers come 20 minutes later than the questions. Yeah, so that, that is actually a, a tip for everybody. Well, you know when you're like out going out in an investigation, you say, oh, hello, is there anybody there? Can you let yourself be known? And then nothing happens. Then you get bored of it and 10 minutes later you're walking away and you hear the noise. Yes. Think about that, folks. Put yes. the connection there. It takes a while sometimes. I was always told by the famous Len Loban, um, those who don't know, he was like my mentor. Um, but he always said to me, always give that like 10 or 20 or 30 second gap between, mm. you know, asking questions or asking for activity to happen. It's crazy here in Florida with COVID. Yeah, mm. I think COVID's kind of having a bit of a resurgence. Yeah, we had it, we had it last week. Or the week before, one of them. Oh, next oh, season. I was well, talking about spreading the next season. <laughs> yeah. Never had them. I've never had them. Either. Never. Oh, you must, um, you must be dirty then. You had dirty hair. I'll, I'll take that, mate. <laughs> My sisters had it. They had it really bad when they were younger, constantly. But um, yeah. no, I didn't, I didn't ever have nets or lice no, or anything. Really. But I was just lucky. Ground have nightmares that Scott ran over hills, Carrie. <laughs> So that, that's well, Ryan's fault. Blame <laughs> Ryan. That's it. Blame the Scotsman. I see how it is. Now you're being racist. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one that mentioned it, not me. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you're uh, tolerating that. <laughs> yes, it's a spirit book. Oh, that was about the, that was about your father in law letting one rip. Oh, <laughs> so he is taking that's the blame. Yeah, that's another one. <laughs> yeah, that's about his fault. He can, you can peel wood yeah. wallpaper. If I'd have done that, I'd have been very proud and owned up straight away. <laughs> here, 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 here. <laughs> Bless him. He's some man. Yeah, it, was like, it is, Eric. It definitely is. Yeah. We, we... But you weren't uh, expecting this interview, were you? No, well, I didn't quite think it was going to go, but I know it's always mental when I talk to these two. Well, you, well, you love you I love it, and you love us. That's why that's why you agreed to do it with us. Yeah, yeah, of course. Well, listen, I make no bones. As soon as I spoke to you, and <laughs> I was absolutely wait, when when let's do it. You know, because <laughs> it's been it's been ages, and I yes. could have gone in any one of them, but um, I turn an awful lot. Oh, Karen Besson, absolute legend. She oh, you Karen Besson, absolutely lovely lady. Guys, make sure you're following Karen and what she does in the paranormal. She is amazing location. What does she, Karen she, do? What does Karen she do? She does a lot. For, she, we interviewed her, Dan. She did a lot for the, the history. There's a, the history and the uh, she's keeping it all alive and you know with well, her I events and things like. I think you were. Yeah. I'm old now. I can't remember what. Jamaican lady. 
Yes. Oh, Karen, yes. She's <laughs> lovely, lovely. yes. Yes. It's his I age. I was on Ryan, it's yes. his age. <laughs> Sorry, Karen. Did he take his pills tonight? I, I think he missed a couple of things at once. I'm stuck. He's still, still <laughs> talking away, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dan. <laughs> Quick, wipe his chin. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Sorry I, I'm just. You two are good, Listen, Cliff, that is really appreciative of you saying that. Um, sometimes our rest does help. Yeah, absolutely it does. does. Um, but I'm truthfully speaking, I'm ready to go. I could, I could jump straight in and get on with stuff. I am doing a few different things in the background anyway. So, um, as I say, so far as retirement, it is through. I'm done with it. I'm not chasing no teams. I'm not getting involved in any of that. Um, I just want to do my own thing. And do as you please, do as you please, yeah, yeah. And if I'm, if I'm honest, I've done this professionally for quite a few years now, so it's one of these where, um, I just yeah, I just want my family and have my family time, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you've earned that, you've earned that though, more than earned that, Ryan. No, definitely. Listen, I never said that I wanted him. <laughs> <laughs> You've stuffed up Sally's plans now, right? There that's you go. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'll be in the shed by the night. I've been at the point, Ryan, that it's nothing to be ashamed of. Mental illness is not. I, mean, I absolutely know that. Yeah, yeah um, exactly. I appreciate you saying that. I do think I'm not going to go down the bandwagon and say men's mental health needs speaking about. Mental health needs speaking yeah. about. Yes, you know. Um, I'm sick of people going, oh, woe me, woe me, well, fucking man up. Do you know what I mean? Get out there. Don't be ashamed. And when I say man up, I don't mean that you should just brush aside your feelings. What I'm saying is don't sit back and feel you can't ask for help or yeah. um, you can't approach the right authorities, yeah. the doctors or whatever. Do you know, I went down my doctor's not three weeks ago and I said to my doctor, I need to speak to somebody. I need to um, like get therapy or, or whatever the case may be. And his response was, forget that, because they've got no room at the minute. Yeah. Um, I was like, hang on a minute, but I appreciate that, but what if, no, you could argue that I wasn't, but what if I was of that mindset to walk straight out that door and do something silly? Mm. I don't think there's quite that appreciation yet when somebody says, look, I have a fucking issue here. There's people in this room here with me now where I haven't gone to them before and said, um, you know, I, I need help or I need, I've got a problem, but I fucking have, you know, because I have, and I, yeah. I'm not ashamed of that. No, and it's uh, better to discuss it openly than the alternative. Yeah, yeah, that, you know, yeah, Because that some you know you can't take that back. That's the and thing. don't rush for meds, people. That's all right. Meds do help. I'm not going to be disrespect. I don't take any because. I don't like taking any sort of tablets unless it's like ibuprofen for a headache or something. Um, but there's people out there that will medicate, not deal with the problem, not speak about it, and then 10 years later end up either doing something silly to themselves yeah. or others oh, yeah. Um, yeah. or end up just complete emotional wrecks. So for God's sake, if you feel that you're stressed or you, you need to talk to somebody, don't listen to those people that say it's, it, it's, a, it's a lame thing to do. Get out there and speak. Definitely. Definitely. So, Lois is on. Hi, oh, hello. Hey, guys. I thought I'd pop in and say, hi, I love you. I love you. I love you. So true in what you say. Go, Ryan. But it's not. It's just that anybody, any one of you guys could say the same thing, but a lot of people choose not to because they want to yes. put a face on. They want to say how, how amazing they are. Like a sport, everyone knows the, the famous egomaniac that I recently worked with. Um, do you know what I mean? A lovely guy. I'm not going to disrespect that, but it's not always about image. The amount of times that certain people have said to me in the past, oh, you, you know, take that off Facebook. You can't put that on Facebook. Why not? Why not? I can do it. If you don't like it, fuck off. It's my yeah, page. Exactly. I can do what I like. Exactly. Somebody, exactly. I put a post up once, um, and I, it basically said that, fuck everybody, I'm sick of it, blah, blah, blah. I just lost the plot. I was like, I had enough of it. I had a bit of a rant. And um, Ryan looks like the British Nick Diaz. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, oh, you're wrong. Hi, Rob. It, I got a message not five minutes after posting it from that individual that said to me, get that taken down now. Don't post that. We'll never get any more TV work. And I was like, I don't really give a shit. 
<laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? I want, to, I want to go back to the world that it was a few years ago where people could have a different political opinion, people could have a different opinion on many things, but you know what? You still rubbed along together and it was fine. Yeah. That seems to have gone out the window now. It's like a personal affront to people if you disagree with them on any subject or topic. Mm -hmm. The point where they just want to ostracise you. It's not good. It's not healthy. I love Cliff. I'm loving him. I am listening to you, Dan. What are you saying there? Yeah, exactly. He's right there. But No, absolutely. You're going to meet people throughout whatever... Um, Whatever journey you take, whether it's in public events, whether it's private events, whether it's solo mediumship or whatever it is, it's a respect. But when you're doing it, when you're it's doing not, it, it's talking about Sally. It's true, actually. Oh, well, I'm not going to repeat that. Her head will go. Viv, don't you be posting none of her comments now. You're on Team Ryan, not Team Sally. Come on. Oh, excuse me. No, no, oh. Sally's my mate. Leave her alone. <laughs> Sorry, Viv. Don't you mess with Sally. <laughs> See, it ain't you that's famous. It's me. Exactly. See, I, I'm going to make a joke about that. <laughs> I'm going to make a joke. Right, as um, oh, I've not heard that bird last year. Sorry, sorry, I'd, no, no, it's fine. But yeah, the, the joke is right. See, if a lot of the people go into the paranormal, going to do what they're doing, and they think, Brilliant, I'm going to get a TV show, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get a series. Listen, I've done it as long as I've done it and got three shows. You know, you're not going to get doors like that open or as easy as you think, no. But that being said. I'll show you the level of fame that you get even in a 20-year career like what I've done in the paranormal. Even in that 20 years, I'm a V-list celebrity, would you believe? I looked on IMBD website. We looked. I'm a, apparently, I'm a V-list celebrity. Oh, now who's got the bloody V-list? No, no. What's, yeah. a v, what's a V-list? I can't remember. I did read it. Better I can't... than a Z-list. Exactly. It's better than a Z-list. <laughs> But basically it's what I'm trying to say is it doesn't matter who you work with, it doesn't matter what you do to get right at the very top of fame and money and celebrity, you're going to have to put an awful lot of effort and an awful lot of time and that you might not even get those opportunities. Exactly, yeah. So right. I've been also told by a production team, carry on, Ryan, we've got loads of projects we can get you involved in. We can do this, we can do that. I'd even wanted to do a documentary about, my life and about yeah. my work in the paranormal. Um, there's some big shows like a uh, paranormal captured and other different shows that I did oh, an awful lot of work behind the scenes with. Um, so there's an awful lot of stuff that people don't know that I've done. Um, so when I look at what my career as a whole, I look at it and say, well, I don't need it. I've done it. I've done what I need to do. I've got the goals. Um, I'm happy. So I think it's a perfect time for me to back out. Um, uh, 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 as Sally said, semi retire. Okay, yeah, you're, not, you're, not, you're not going anywhere because we're going to have a semi. That sounds so wrong. It <laughs> oh, does. God. So, what you're saying is what, what actually sounds even worse, Viv, is if you put those words in a different context and you say, So, what you want me to do is to pull out with a semi. Yes. <laughs> oh. You can't believe you're saying that from the missus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. That's terrible. Don't ever go. Don't ever go for a pee with Semi. Just... <laughs> God. Oh, for God's sake, it's supposed Listen, to be paranormal. It is supposed to be paranormal. <laughs> it is paranormal. Right. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. She keeps me right. But the thing is, is do you know what? It's how it needs to be because um, yeah. people need to see some realism. And like I said, on a serious note, I can still go out there and help families that are struggling. I can give readings. Mm. I can do shows. I can do TV. I can still do all that. So um, why change? Just have a laugh and enjoy it. And if, if you get opportunities, take them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Have you heard of Andy Man Club? They're all over the UK now. Eh? Andy, Andy Man, Man. So is there is a couple of absolute units or what you might call in Scotland <laughs> two absolute weapons or or um I try to think of an English terminology. Oh yeah, twats. Um there's a couple of them that um were on TikTok, uh were just ripping the mick out of the paranormal deliberately, openly would speak about how they were um trying out paranormal teams and mediums and stuff. 
Then they realised that they were getting lots of different views with doing that, so they polished up a little bit and started pretending to do investigations just so they could get the views. They're oh, now really? they paid for they paid like you can you can go online, folks. It's no I'll open up a couple of secrets before I'm done, don't you worry. But um <laughs> one of those is they, they look huge because they've got all of a sudden, like overnight got three hundred and some thousand followers. Yeah, because you can pay for packages online, guys. If you want your page to grow overnight, Google it. Do what they're yeah. doing. Get your page big overnight if that's what you yeah. want to do. Oh yeah. Um, and they paint themselves out to be the most famous group in the in, in the UK and all that, but they're a couple of catalog idiots. I mean, they look like a photo straight at uh, Anne Summers, uh, not Anne Summers, like Next or something. You know. <laughs> You've got sort of brain now. <laughs> Sally, um, you're on a promise later. <laughs> oh, you better believe it. <laughs> You've got the energy. So is that is that is that what is that Andy Man Club? One of them is he? I don't know. I just felt like I would say that. <laughs> No, I don't know. Honestly, I've never heard of them before. But um, yeah, he's right. It's true. Yeah. What's that? It's such a bizarre situation. Broken leg. Oh, that's sad. Uh, PTSD. Yeah. Do you know what PTSD yeah. probably does play a big part in what's wrong with me? To be honest, um, and bizarre situation. The broken leg. If I assume you're you're referring to my broken leg that I mentioned before. Um, that was a hit and run with a motorbike about eight weeks before I ran the London Marathon. I'd raised like over two thousand pounds for Epilepsy Society. I got to mile one and it broke again. Um, oh. Yeah, so when I got hit, involved in a hit and run, it broke. I got put in one of those, what do you call them, moon boot oh. things. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. But believe it or not, I'd actually had it was more ligament damage than the actual break itself. The break was so small that. It, although it was causing me an awful lot of pain, that would sort itself out, but it was ligaments. So I got to like mile and a half because I thought, well, I'm, go I'm going to do this. I'm going to just do it anyway, even if it's at a slow speed. And me and Lee, me and Lee Roberts, we started running the marathon and I felt it. I felt almost like twisting your ankle and yeah. I felt it go and the pain was excruciating. So I told him to run. I sort of stopped for a couple of minutes. And then I thought, do you know what? I'm just going to try and get as far as I can. The first couple of miles were absolute agony, and then it you don't feel it after a while. It's just a bit oh. niggly, and, and you just I just cracked on with it. But by the time I got to like mile twenty, I was in a bad way. Like I was an idiot for doing that in the first place. I, I don't get me wrong, but um, I'm not being so young anymore. I don't heal as well. So yeah, I thought I'd get that in because my father-in-law, if I could show you, him, he's scoffing away at that because I'm saying old. But yeah, I got to mile twenty-two and cut a long story short. St John's ambulance pulled me to the side and said, "Look, you're falling over. You can't get more than a couple of steps in front of you." I did a live when that was happening, just crying my eyes out like a big baby. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And then um, they took me to the Royal London, and that was that. So there you go. I but there was more to that. Right? Here is he's on about that people recognise a broken leg. Oh, but if you've got mental health problems, he's like, "Oh, that's nonsense." Oh, right, yeah. right. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no. And the, the thing is, is, is it's a very natural human thing to say when somebody else moans about an ailment or says that they're, they're struggling or whatever. It's so easy just to just think, oh, shut up. Um, yeah, but it's not so clever when it happens to you and you're sitting there and your mind's going fucking crazy and you're feeling like suicidal or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, then you realise that it's, it's not so easy just to brush it off and be selfish no. and think that no. yourself. No. But but you run that because, you run that well, with um, with a certain person in mind who who you lost under yes. tragic per circumstances. So there was more to that was going on behind the scenes that people didn't realise. So yeah, yeah. So it's even harder for you. So you know, I think the thing is, is most of my life I've been an absolute. I can't say the word a because my mother in law will jump up and karate kick me if I say it. <laughs> um, but it's a C U N T. Put it that way. Yes. I have been one of those when I was younger. I was I just tortured my mum. I was a nightmare. I was one of those kids. I was brought up in the East End of Glasgow. It was during ice cream. Well, no, it wasn't during ice cream wars, but it was like the aftermath of that. So there was a lot of gang fighting and, and murders and different things happening. And I just became a tearaway. And I put my mum through absolute hell, including everybody else in my life. Mm -hmm. And then I got attacked a number of years ago. I woke up. I had one of those sort of hallelujah moments mm -hmm. and i thought why i need to get my head screwed on and try and do the best i can 
And so to something like the marathon, I left it too late. Um, my mum passed away due to epilepsy conditions. Um, and I felt that the marathon was that one thing that I could say, well, do you know what? I was. Ha she can see me doing that. She'll look down at me and go, fair yeah. play, son. And, and that, that, that's all I wanted. Yeah. Yeah, meds, meds need to be used. Let's make no mistake. Meds need to be used. I've worked, I mean, I'm no medical professional or nothing like that, but you need to take meds. I'm not saying that you shouldn't. All I'm saying is make sure that you keep your wits about you. You don't start taking stuff that messes with your head or anything. No, any, I think any, any worse. the positive thing about meds is they can get you back to a point where then you can yeah. naturally take over, getting yeah. past that, that or over that hurdle as it were to begin with. But as hard as it, hard as those situations are, regardless as to what it is that you're going through in your life, if you can, then try talking about it before res before resulting to taking meds. And if the if you still feel that you need to take the medication after you've had a chat with somebody, do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, try Rob. talking first. <laughs> Rob is making me laugh. Is it German or Gaelic? He's going on about the accent. He can't Mine. understand the Scottish accent. And yours is pretty tame, to be honest. It is. Um, but He's that's obviously because not I, long. I'm actually from the Shetlands, as you know. That's why I'm here. But um, So I normally speak with a really strong accent, and you can never understand the bloody thing I'm trying to say. And then you'll be thinking, what the bloody hell is this boy saying? Yeah. So I talk, that's, that's talking in the local dialect. So I went down to... I can't believe I just did that. I can, I'm not even looking at him. But I, I know he's giving me a... I know. He sat to my left and he's at my right, sorry, and he would give me a right fucking weird look. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't actually... I can't actually tell you what he's doing because it gets us an awful lot of bother. But put it this way. Get him no, on camera. Just, no, I can't. You wouldn't appreciate that. He's a big man, you know. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. Don't I'm not arguing. Don't mess with yeah, him. Well, that's well odd. Um, Rob, I'm but, in America. I can understand them just fine. <laughs> but yeah, my accent's like central belt Scotland, would you say, Viv? Yeah, it's kind of like central belt Scotland, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's not like pure Glaswegian, is it? But it's got that yeah. little bit of a twang. Uh, yeah. There's a bit but of that's a because there. I spent an awful long time in England. I've done a lot of my work here in England. So I suppose it's just a taming of the accent. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wear anything for Facebook first comment. What, on this, on this show? Cliff, <laughs> it's kind of the Cliff, stars in Facebook. Honestly, mate, here's what you need to do. You need to go find a mirror, look at yourself and have a big, long word. Because I'll tell you what's actually difficult. Going to a McDonald's drive through as a Scotsman and trying to order a quarter pound of a fucking cheese meal and a large <laughs> strawberry stocking milkshake. <laughs> now, that's difficult. That's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think it's talking about the mushrooms, was it? Was it Cliff or was that Rob? I can't, I can't, I can't keep up with it, it's too many. <laughs> and I'm old. <laughs> no, Andy's Man Club is about mental health. Oh, okay. Well, Robert, drop me a thing, drop me a link and a message by all means. I'm not a I'm not a knobhead, I'll talk to you. Like, you know, drop me a message. Um and I'll have a look at it. I'll check it out. Sounds yeah. interesting, actually. No, I'd be oh, right excellent. up for that. Excellent. Listen, excellent, excellent, excellent. If ever Viv wanted to do a mental health show, I'd quite happily come on and have a chat. Yeah, let's do um, it. Whenever you want. We'll uh, it. Yeah, yeah, I can, exactly. I, I can open. Yeah. Well, you, you guys are the bosses. You sort out, give me a shout. But it's, you know, it does. It's, I it's do good. need to speak more about. Then we wouldn't have a lot of these teen suicides. Um, I know I'm not going to, it's none of my business to open up publicly, but I know that another close family member is having a lot of mental health issues and, and different things. Yeah. And I think that there has to be a lot more in place to help, especially the youngsters. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I was trying to say well, that people were sympathetic towards obvious physical, but petrified of a chemical imbalance in the brain. Yes. Yeah. No, I get you right. I'll be yeah. completely honest with people. Now, I, I'm under the hospital and under psychiatrist for. Um, I suffer with clinical depression. Yeah, and um, I also I also suffer with PTSD from a very bad accident I had. So, and yeah, it's that it's it's one of those things that because people can't see the damage, they don't think it exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I, I just wish, very real. I just wish other people. I mean, I am by no means a um, 
famous or anything like that, but I just wish that more people would stand up. Like, I know there's people out there that have got TV shows and paranormal and stuff, and I know them personally. I know that they're going through difficulties. And if only those people would stand up and say, do you know what, I, I, I cut my wrist last night, or I... I, and I don't. I know this sounds quite. Uh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Horrific. It sounds horrific, doesn't it? That yeah. they're doing these things to them. But it's reality, so I'm not going to yeah. hide it. People will no, cut yeah, their no. People will. Yeah. Hang themselves or do whatever. You know, they'll do lots of different self harm as well as suicide attempts. But why should they not be? It's not a weakness. No. no In fact, no. it shows great strength that you can turn around and say, "You know what? I'm fucked up." Yeah, yeah. You need to, it. Need you need to get uh, bring people in on it. Otherwise, you can't. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a it's a it's a load on your own. You can't do it. You need other That's people it. to be there to help you. Uh, I am an Aberdonian, actually. Well, I'm a Shetlander. But quick story: my mum was pregnant, couldn't do a cesarean section, so they had to fly her to Aberdeen. So officially, I was born in Aberdeen. But my birth certificate will tell you that I'm a Shetlander. I think they're answering right now. Yeah. It's where the ponies come from, Shetland. Shetland That's ponies. That's right, yeah, yeah. Shetland ponies. And uh, the famous, what was it, the 3G one where it does the backwards moonwalk. Hey? Eh? Yeah, there was a, there's a, a Shetland pony that, is it 3G, the, the, the phone company? Um, yes. They had the, ah, the, the ponies. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I remember that. That pony exists. So jealous. Honestly, keep an eye on my page. Drop me a friend's request. You'll see um, I post pictures and videos regularly of what I do up here. I'm not a Ouija. I'm definitely not a What's glass a Ouija? Region. A Ouija is a Ouija board. Oh, glass yeah, region. Not, no, not a glass region. What's low? What's what? She's, a, she's, uh, she's from Ayrshire. Oh, she's Ayrshire. So she's sort of just above Scotland, uh, above Glasgow. A Scottish Cockney. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say? So I want to say so as well. Um, a couple of the biggest. Sorry. Hi Sam. A couple of the biggest. Oh hi, hi Sam. Hi Sam. I know Sam very well. Hello Sam. She's lovely. Sam is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, nice she speaks. She speaks her mind as well. She'll take no shit. Um, please go follow Sam as well. She's awesome. But yeah, I've, I've done lots of things, as you know, we've already spoken about. And some of the best events that I've ever been on has to be the charity events. Yes. And events that I've been a lot. I mean, I've done hundreds, thousands of my own events from my own teams, my own companies and what have you. But it's the ones where people say, well, you come along and be a special guest. They treat you like one of their own. Certainly like the Paranormal Sisters. Um, there was one where I did for a gentleman who had a brain injury. That The family took me in like I was one of their own. Um, and those are memories that I'll always remember yeah. and it's what makes it up the thing that pisses me off is the fakery and all the like I've already said about the fame hungry people like yes. I don't I can say it's social media is a public forum so I can say what I want it's only ever an opinion and just because even though whatever I say next or whatever I say at any point you don't need to take it as gospel you make it no. with what you will exactly. um, and I'm not um, deliberately being nasty to anyone such as Lee or anybody else that I've worked with. It's just situations that upset me. But things like fakery is like Carol Fieldhouse at um, 30 East Drive. I've got a video. I make no bones about it. I could share it online if I wanted to um, that will show that lady picking something up, throwing it and blaming it on the paranormal. In fact, yeah. she did it throughout that video half a dozen times. Yeah. Um, and I've got that slowed down as many still frames as you want. That's what she did. Then there was the village Mansfield, the famous village. Mm -hmm. um, you know the old door that the door bang, bang, yes, bang went viral? Yes. Who was doing yeah. that? That maybe revealed another time, but it wasn't me. Well, um, when we when we went there, before we got there, the door was bang, 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 bang. But as we were watching the thing through, we saw a figure, a dark did figure... You see did you see Get the black up shadow? From the table and move, and I'm thinking, eh? Like yes. that's definitely a person. And then, oh no, that's no, paranormal. So, here's the thing: if it wasn't me, right? Tennis dropped. Oh really? Yeah. If it wasn't me, who was I working with? It yes, wasn't me. Yeah, but it didn't look like him. <clears throat> you wasn't. You certainly wasn't there. 
No, because I was at home live when that was live and I was talking in the chat and I was saying to Lee at the time, because it was Lee that filmed it, that makes no bones, he's got that video up on yeah. the thing. I'm not I'm not saying that Lee was faking it, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that something was untoward that night. I wasn't involved because I was in the chat talking to him and saying, like, you know, oh, you know, I'm recording that, I'm screen recording it, you know, so that you can look at that specific clip. And I actually sent him the screen recording live and said, here, look, look, look. And then it blew up and went viral. Did it? That was like literally half an hour. We're waiting outside, waiting to go in. And then that happened. Oh, you've got to see this, you've got to see this. And it's like, well, okay. So then we did the investigation and it was like, oh, no. You know, did you ever hear the story as well about the village, about um, the tunnel and the fire and the monks? No. Well, a lot of people who's maybe been to the village will, will hear about there used to be a tunnel that used to link the village to, I think, one of the abbeys or something like that nearby or the courthouse or something like that. I can't remember. Well, that that was there. But the monks that allegedly died in the fire as it was coming through, that you try Googling anything about the village, you won't find it. Well, I picked up on a, like a young man that died of a drug overdose, but that was about mm -hmm. it, and that was by sheer accident. That's but all also, I got. That's all exactly, I got. But let's not make no mistake, it is haunted. Yeah. There is things happening there, and what you're picking up, along with the different things that I'm picking up on, will be things like residual energy. I mean, it was a nightclub at one point. Yeah. So you're going to pick up on maybe people, maybe a spirit was trying to link to you to pass somebody on a message there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they died of a drugs overdose, but maybe somewhere that they liked to go was the village. Mm. So I don't know. But it was a, there's an lots interesting of interesting place. It was an interesting place. It was nice it's no while it lasted. Venue, is it? it's, it's no longer. No. no. No, it's it was sold. Um there was talk that prior to it being sold that myself and Lee were going to set up one of the UK's, if not the biggest um haunted museum. Um but that, that never happened due to different commitments through lockdowns and, and, and different stuff that took place all across the country. Um, but yeah, when I was there, it was if I remember right, it was a paintball place as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, was right, it was a paintball place right up until the very end. Yeah, um, Sarah, I'll, after the show, I'll, I'll send you a link to his page anyway, <laughs> so, excuse and me. to his private page. I'll, I'll send you the I'll send it over. Let me write this down. Perfect. So how's Lee doing? Is he okay? Is he still keeping his finger in, or is he not? No, I don't talk to him anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, he's, you know, it's, it's a bit it's private. When it's difficult. With him. I won't do that to him because I respect him too much. Because as much as he's pissed me off, as much as I'm not ever speak to that man again, I'll never be in the same room as him again, or I'm going to put my fist through his head. And I'm, I, I'll say it how it is. You make no bones. I'm just a human being. But um, I don't know why. Yeah, but I'm, that is what it is. But um, yeah. was it I won't disrespect him because a particular haunting. No, no, not nothing at all. Basically, it, th that's private. The, what me and Lee fell out with, and that's not. I'm not being disrespectful. No, 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 no I just wouldn't. I just but what I will like, say, I it was doing a particular haunting that happened. That I won't go into it because that's for other people to um, off air. Do it off air. Yeah. But the thing, the thing is, is that I I have to give respect where respect is due, and I will never disrespect him as best I can. Um, and the thing is, is he's he's supported me an awful lot. He's been around me an awful lot. Um, you know, he's given me a lot of opportunities or helped me get a lot of opportunities. But when I actually look at it, like I said at the beginning, when I actually look at those opportunities, actually I made them for myself. Mm. It was just, you know, but those would have came anyway. I, but I thoroughly yeah. believe that you put the right manifest, the right thing into the world, then the right things come to you. But always remember this, although I've opened up a little bit here and, and went a bit deeper into the different situations that I probably shouldn't speak about, um, that's a one-off because I'm still a bit angry. But, and again, I'm only human. But at the same yeah, time, you know... Just get out there, be yourselves. Who gives a shit what people think and how you do it? Don't think that there's a right or a wrong way of doing things. It's all about how you do it. Exactly. Um, yeah. 
no, that's exactly right. Exactly right. Where do I copy? Steve, are there any more questions? I'm just trying to copy Ryan. Oh yeah, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> copy hey, Ryan's it, profile link. <laughs> so right. Uh... You can look at all the website that I've closed that screen cap. Yeah, I mean, I've got every. The thing is, is I've got everything that I've done with even live live ghost hunting. I've always like kept the recordings of it. So I've got like boxes. Of, I could probably, and I probably should, maybe I will put it all together. Some of the old stuff, like from early days that nobody's ever seen. Um, I've actually got an interview that I did with Lee um, at the village, believe it or not, maybe about nine year ago or something. Wow. And he talks about different things. And you've got to remember that was still at the early stages of himself <clears throat> doing what he was doing. Um, and there's different, I've done that throughout investigations that I've been on. I've got like, Interviews, pictures, videos, and maybe I should sh share them and put them out That'd there. That'd be interesting to look at. Definitely, I, I, I would definitely be interested in looking at mm -hmm. them. I would definitely be interested in looking at them. With that. Can we have another super awkward moment? Thank you. <laughs> Easy. Well, just, any time just, you want, just, Rob. It's just Dan being a div. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's it's got to be done. Exactly. Exactly. You're right there, Viv. Sorry, I was just uh, trying to get. I was looking on on the the, the things on through the phone. Have I've you found put, it? Yeah, I've just put Ryan's uh, link there. There you go. There Did you, you go. notice the end bit? Ryan Griff. Ryan Griffiths. Six six. Wee little devil, yeah. Well, I've always been the bad boy of the paranormal. There you go. Uh, I want to give a massive shout out to Gary Fields as well. That's watching. Yes. Yes, um, he's there. I'm just see, seeing him. And I, I didn't mean to mention him when he popped in, but I ended up I was away in a rant as well as usual. We but, like a good rant. Yeah, well, I don't. That's just me all over. It wouldn't be the same if I didn't rattle on for hours. But um, what you what you hear here, who you see here, she said, absolutely. Listen, half the people that poke their nose into you into your business when you're working in the uh, paranormal, or whatever you're doing, you know, what difference does it make? Fuck them. Yeah, yeah. Gary, so Gary Fields, they're not going to stop you doing what you need to do, so you do it every way you want to do it. Yeah, Gary Fields, third time lucky. Gary <laughs> is an absolute, he puts a lot of effort and a lot of time. I haven't had a lot, awful lot of past crossed with Gary, but I have seen an awful lot of his work, and he's been around an awful long time. I urge you all to go give Gary a little follow and check out what he's up to next. It's probably some more bonkers stuff, but Gary's <laughs> always there. And he, and he follows the football, avid football. Yeah, supporter, yeah, yeah. But he needs to, Yeah, but he kind of needs to support a right proper team. Who's he supporting? <laughs> this one's this one's specially for Gary. Are you ready? Sorry, we bought him the wrong mug. It should be Celtic. <laughs> I was going to say, is Gary a Celtic supporter by any chance? <laughs> just just in case Gary doesn't know, we are the 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 most successful team in the world. <laughs> below, below Arsenal, mm. Chelsea is that? No, <laughs> higher. We we have won more more domestic titles than any country in the world. Everybody, Everybody loves, loves a bad boy. <laughs> so <Something> new. <laughs> oh, you should like me, Sam. I'm downright horrible. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the football results. <laughs> <laughs> you started it off. You're going to hear it going. <laughs> oh, we love it. We love it. So there, there Gary's saying he's off to Great Yarmouth in September. Absolutely. Go check him out. Follow what he's doing and, and see what he's up to next. Um, I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> we, we were laughing at you. Not talking to but, but, but you know what? Laughter is the one of the best medicines that anyone. When you hear somebody else laughing, it yes. makes you laugh, and it's infectious. So, so we love that. Oh, don't I agree. always say normally aimed at me. I mean, <laughs> mate, I, we're in the same boat here. You know what I mean? I, I, Sally could write joke books about me. Like, not that's not because I say good jokes; it's because the amount she makes of me. But <laughs> that's, just, that's just how it is. But uh, what was I going to say? I saw things like fucking 
getting out there and, and, and doing what I do, I just I love it. And I'm glad to see people like Gary and people like yourselves just motoring on and, and, and regardless of views, regardless of oh, so he's saying seven nil. <laughs> <laughs> you got to remember, folks, I'm seeing this in a delay. They wow, do it real time, and then I don't see the comment. <laughs> You'll be all right with that, Jamie Gary. He's a, he's a Liverpool right. supporter, isn't he? He's a bin dipper. A bin dipper? <laughs> bin dipper. Right. I'm, having, I'm, I'm not, I'm not friends with Gary anymore. I refute what I said about Gary. Gary's Just leave old. Gary alone. He's <laughs> all right, is Gary. He's a good no, lad. He is a good lad. Um, he needs a good follow and all the rest of it. You know what I mean? Check him out. He's always busy. He's always... And if I was to say that there was anybody that I kind of looks, well, I think, maybe similar to what I do, is Gary. And yeah. there's a few others that I could name <laughs> as well. Um, but seeing as Gary's here, he can take all the credit. You know, <laughs> he's, it, go, go get it, him... Rob says, is it true Fluffingham was relegated? They were. Who the f Who's, Who's Fluffingham? Fluffingham? Who is Fluffingham? He's having a laugh. <laughs> you English football. Man City are the best. Ha ha. Ma bigger. Uh, bagger. Uh, what? Bagger off. Bagger off. Oh, bagger oh, off. Bagger oh, I off. see. Oh, you. bagger off. Bagger Man, Man City, Man City are not best. Watch this, Alan. Ten seconds on Man City. Any good? At the moment. Well, the money is still there. But that won't last forever. No. Who's that, that voice? He's very posh. And he's far from very posh. posh this he's the <laughs> most unposh person you could ever meet in your life. <laughs> He does have. <laughs> this is going to. I really don't want to give him any credit because his head. Never mind his belly. He could his do head. That. His head's he going to go like that. He could do speakovers because he's got that voice. That's very. I was just know. about to say. As much as it pains me to say, he does have, and this will sound so gay. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. Before anybody attacks me, but he has got a really sexy voice, hasn't he? Actually, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're hitting on my dad. I am. Yeah. <laughs> he does. No, in all seriousness, I don't even know how. I'm he... looking the bedroom door tonight. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Bless but, but that's oh. that's um that's Alan. He's a he's an absolute legend. It's all right, Dad. I'll tie him down. Yeah, that's yeah. it, Gary. <laughs> I actually, I'm kind of gutted that I didn't get a chance to to hook up and do something with Gary because we could easily have because we uh, pass could easily have crossed more times than mm. did. Um, but again, I was it was I was so busy for the last five years where I've just been like, going all over the place. Never say never because no. something could happen. Something could happen. Yeah, of we could all just go and meet up and go for a coffee well, and. That a hundred percent. I don't see why we shouldn't put a little get get together like that. It'd be cool. That'd be good. Um, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get Gary out. Good. Let's get yourself out and Sally and Alan. Is that his name? Alan. The lovely. Yeah, horse. Alan. Yeah, Alan. Yeah, it can, just it can. to shreds. That's all right. He could be the oh, uh, bouncer. He could be the bouncer. He's a big bloke. He big could, tough bloke. Well, put it this way: he's he's ex ex rugby player. Let's, yeah. let, let's not forget, though, that it won't be everybody that will be punishing. It will just be you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he will give me a bit of a hard time. But he's, he's a big lad, but he's um he's a gentle giant. Somebody's nice rattled him. Aussie. Is that the Aussie from the succulent Chinese meal video? <laughs> Do you know, as soon as you say Chinese meal, the first thing I think about is anyone ever seen that little little bit large kid? Is that per, I'll the, say it the, right, the fat kid. The fat kid. It's, <laughs> it's like this old viral thing where he's pulling the cellophane off the food and he's just going <laughs> and he's laughing. You've never seen that? No. no. Oh my god. Google Google is it fat Chinaman eats food okay. or something like that and you'll find you'll find videos of him he's just hilarious he can't stop laughing he, and he's got his proper dirty giggle the whole time and he's opening food and scoffing his face he's so happy oh. when he's oh. his noodles. sort out that 
Gary, mate, just drop me a message, and if it's something that I can do, I will. Look, there I am. I'm not even retired yet. I know. Yeah, we told you. You got a semi going on. A semi retirement. Oh, oh. You, you kind of sidetracked me a little bit there. <laughs> don't forget me. Listen, Sam, any time. Yes. Here's a shout. I don't even know who hey, Sam, Sam is. Oh, Sam, 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 of course, yeah. Sam, Sam just let, let us know um, and we'll hook up. When we come and meet up with you, we'll go out, we'll do something. We'll drag Dan out as well if he can behave yeah. himself. Yeah, but I, yeah I'm, I think the next thing I'm going to do is start putting together, probably next year now, I'll start working on um, another medium ship. I'm going to get back into my medium ship. Um, yeah. Although I've always done it, I, want to, I focus for so long on the spooky side of things. I now want to focus on going back to my roots and starting back where I was because I remember that magical feeling first sitting with spirit and it's it's, it's one that you can't really explain. Yeah. Um, and I want to get back to that. That, that that buzz, you know, that when you're out there, because basically I lost my buzz. I couldn't be asked. I would go to public events and I'd stand there bored, shitless, just thinking, can I just go home? And I knew at that point I need to sort it out and, and take some time out as well. Not in the, I'm definitely not Googling that, Rob. <laughs> no, I'm not either. <laughs> but things, I things will right. happen. You, things you things will come time. You need a bit of time to just get out and sort of mm. collect the, collect your thoughts and mm. and just look at things. Yeah, exactly. I'm past giving a fuck about things that don't deserve to be given a fuck about. I think that that's a problem. And the, the reason you would never see you'd see me all over the telly, you see me all over the news, the, everything. But I mean, even when my granny sadly passed away tragically a few years ago, it was a bloody son that phoned me up looking for an interview. And I'm sat in a funeral director's. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck. God. Yeah. So I, I, I've had that, but mm. there's nothing beats just sitting in a haunted house and, and just feeling that link to spirit. You know what? I'll be honest with you, Ryan. It's not, I don't, from what I've been hearing, <coughs> you're not retired, you reevaluate. Oh. Reevaluated. Oh, I've reevaluated. I'm definitely retired, so far as to say, like I said, I'm not taking any more work on. No. Yeah. I will do exceptions for people like Gary, yourselves. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I'm just me. That's why you never saw me on any of these events or anything like that, like the festivals, because they won't they won't get me there because this is a bit they won't like. I have done a lot more than them. I am better than them. And the only reason they don't like me saying that is because they're got the problem. That is yeah, why yeah. if all I'm saying, folks, is it doesn't matter what people tell you about me. I really don't care. It makes no difference to me. I'll lose no sleep about it. I think right? it's better when it comes when you're straight shooting and you're telling mm. them the truth, not yeah. what people want to hear. You're not yeah. pandering or buttering up anybody's egos. You're just being 100%. yourself. And that's what we need in the paranormal. That's what's yeah, missing. It's true. Yeah. That's but what's I used missing. to make a joke. Exactly. Yeah. But I made a joke to Lee once and I said, you know what, Lee? And he went, what? I said, it'll sound like I'm being a bit of a dick, but I'm probably one of the most underrated people in the paranormal because, not because I think that I'm better than everybody, but because there's certain festivals out there, for instance, that will refuse to take me as their guest because, you know, they don't like people with confidence. They don't like the way I outspeak, the way I am. I always used to say to people, listen, I'm the people's medium, not because... Yeah. I think I've got a big ego, but because I will F in Jeff, I will yeah. say how it fucking is. And if you don't like it or you want to ban me or you don't want to give me a TV project, I don't give a shit. Give shit. That's it. Because I'll still go home, sleep with my wife, take the day out with my kids, have holidays. I still do all that. I'll not lose any sleep. So exactly. I'm going to no. be who I want when I want. As, as yeah. it should be. As it should be. But I'm definitely up for doing a mental health. Um, I think that's uh, a good thing. About let, let, let's do it. Um, let's get you on. Let's get some some sufferers from mental health that want to come mm -hmm. on and talk about things and, and put it out there and get things off their chest. They can keep their name anonymous. They don't have to put uh, the camera on. They can just mm -hmm. speak freely and say whatever the what, – Whatever it is that they want, let's and do if it. We, let's, let's get if we on. advertise, if we advertise the show properly, then what we can do <laughs> is um, we could offer the like when you put the first post up, for instance, you could say something like, 
you know, if you want uh, uh, to tell us a story or a situation that you've gone through through mental health, write it in, email us it, or or drop Viv a yeah. message or something like that. And then we Viv can make a notebook of all the different things and we can work our way through talking about them. Yeah. And I, I'd, be happy to, I'd be happy Let's to do that. Do That's a good idea. It's important. And I'll open up more in depth about how I felt just to give people... If they see somebody talking, then they're more likely to then talk themselves. Yeah. So it's not about don't please don't mistake it and think that it's me going, Oh, well, look at me, I'm worse than everybody else. No, I'm just hoping that somebody can watch and see that somebody's done what I've done is still feel like their life is no good. I said to my father in law just yesterday, um, about different things and I just said I can't do no right in it. And it's just, just the way that it happens to everybody, you know. Yeah, so definitely. don't be ashamed and of the it. Thing is, well, we're always our worst critics, aren't we? We're our own worst yes. critics. And I think people need to realise that depression and mental health issues are just part of the human condition. There's nothing mm. to be there's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just the way it is. Yeah, yeah, like Sally says, family time for now. But I would always say to people as well that you know, there's you look at all the teams, all the events, and I'll need to wind this up and finish in a second, guys. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, you know, you can you see all these teams, you see all these individuals and all that, but trying to really get successful, try, buying all the equipment and the gear and everything to get up there and be the best. Why do you think that they've never been taken on as a TV project? Because that's their goal. The reason they haven't is because they look like divas. They've already got a good setup. They don't need the TV. Um, but there's too much of the same old same. So I was mm. I would say to you, if you're starting out in the paranormal, go back to basics. Don't yeah. be afraid to swear. Don't be afraid to show the real you, the, the squint teeth or, or, or the, the no makeup on the face or whatever. Stop playing up to the cameras because there's so much of that happening now that now the TV people will not even look at you. No. And I'm telling you, uh, you know yourself, if you've got contacts as well, and mm. the, 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 they would have looked at that style of person five, ten years ago. Yeah. But now there's so many people getting a million views, getting all that. They don't want that. They want no. grassroots. Yeah. So go out there and just film what you're doing. Forget playing up to cameras. They don't want you as a TV presenter because, mark my words, if they took you on as a TV show, they wouldn't have you as a presenter anyway. They're going to get somebody else in to do yes, that. Yeah, yes. exactly. So yeah. <laughs> forget about it. Forget about it and just go back to basics. Yeah, I think well, right. as well when we were doing it I mean, years ago, you remember that a lot of them that, wanted, as I said earlier, and touching on it again, that a lot of the originals seem to have fell by the way. And I know why they fell by the way because they didn't get initiated into the Hall of Fame because they didn't get to where they wanted to be. And it was well, that's not about that. That's the that's stick the list thing you're thinking of. Stick to your roots, keep moving forward, don't stop being you, and always keep smiling. The yeah. thing is, is that like I said before. Yeah. You'd see all these people. You might come and tell you stories about me. They might put posts up about me. But always remember, did you see something from me? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. So who's who's really the one with the problem? Who's the one gossiping? Who's the yeah. one putting these things out? Apart from what I said tonight, you'll never see any posts about that from me. No. So yeah. Does that not speak for itself? Exactly. And I, I'm going to say one last thing and then I'm gone. And that is very quick, Viv, I promise you. And that is see to all you people out there who tried your best to control me, tried your best to keep me down, and tried your best to think that you were better than me. Who's laughing now, bitch? I'm out there, I'm doing my thing, and I'm still surviving. And you're not going to get rid of me that easily. But see you, well, you sit in your high throne and think you're better than everybody else. What are you doing now? Where are you? Adios. <clears throat> yeah, and you'll be bouncing back. Okay. Right, and with that, we Can't are going to draw it to a close. Don't go anywhere for a sec, Ryan. Uh, we want to thank Ryan for coming on and for everybody in the chat for Junie tuning Thanks, in and supporting Ryan and the show. We are back next Tuesday and we are talking about para we are talking about para unity on the Things Network. Well, does it does it exist or is it a fantasy? Join us where we will take on this debate. It will get lively. <laughs> it will get lively, <laughs> as it always does. Dan will take us down rabbit holes, no doubt. But um, we will catch you next week. Oh, tomorrow, Thursday. Yes, we've got the, uh, we've got the uh, Elemental Kingdoms on tomorrow evening. Oh, no way. And we will see you there.
I'd love to watch it, but I'm watching the Rangers game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thank you, everyone. Cheers, guys. Thanks, everybody, in the chat. Thanks.